station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and Copper Creek Contractors, your Illini Nation. Illinois entered tonight's Elite Eight game on the precipice of making history. And despite a 77 to 52 loss to defending champs UConn, they did exactly that. We go live to Boston where Brett Barron's is outside TV Garden following a historic season for the Illini. A tough night to a good season. Both things can be true, and that was the case for the Illini tonight, who did not start out well. They got outscored 9-0 to open up the game. Looked like they weren't ready to play. Shots were not falling. Defense was not very good. They did rally back to tie it at 23, but then it all started to go downhill pretty quickly. No doubt in my mind going into halftime that uh, – I felt like we were going to win the game. I just felt like we needed some changes. Yeah, we were feeling good. You know, starting 9-0 isn't good, but, you know, we we trusted each other. We kind of settled into the game, and, you know, coming into halftime and when it was tied, you know, we were feeling really good about what we were doing. But for as good as the Illini felt at half, it quickly faded. A 30-0 run from the end of the first half to midway through the second was the difference, with the Illini missing 17 straight shots in that stretch. The Huskies made 11 of 15 shots of their own in the run. It was 30 all. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Um, yeah, it's crazy. We're, we had great looks, couldn't make a shot, and our transition defense was not as good as the first half. So uh, it's part of the game. It happens. It hurts. Well, we got good. We got good looks and didn't make them. And you got to score with them. And then they got out in transition and. and uh, um, you know, it, it was Donovan was the difference. UConn big man Donovan Klingen put up a game high 22 points and 10 rebounds, holding the Illini to 0 for 19 on field goal attempts contested by him. We kind of helped him a little bit, talking about myself uh, turning down open shots to try to go uh, to the basket. Should have just took the shot. But I think our biggest thing was just shooting open shots. Uh, the pick and pops where he spaced out. Felt like we were pump faking a lot and then trying to drive it and then um, missing layups. The Illini went 8 for 30 on layups. They shot just 25% from the field for the game. It is tough to win when you do that, and it closes out a historic season. With more on that, here's WCIA3's Andy Olson. For 350 basketball teams around the country, their season comes up short of an NCAA national championship. And once again, Illinois is part of that group. They got closer than they have as of recent, but in a year where they had the third most wins in a season in program history, Illinois just comes up three short of their ultimate goal. That's one of the hardest parts about this, man. Just, uh, just knowing the brotherhood that we built. Uh, just the relationships that we all have, and uh, you know, it's tough. Man. It's just it's the other side of it, though. It's just you know, so we gotta go. We gotta live with it. So obviously, this one stings, but you know, in a couple of days when we look back on it, you know, we'll be we'll be talking about it for the rest of our lives. The Illini never lost back-to-back -back games all season and didn't lose by double digits until the Elite Eight lost to Connecticut. But they're the team to finally break the streak and make it to March Madness's second weekend. You know, our biggest thing is not trying to let this game uh, determine our season we had a great season uh, we're big 10 champions big 10 champions it's part of the game it happens it hurts but uh we had a great year i'm really proud you know we were overlooked a lot and uh you know we just had gone through a lot of adversity this year and Everything we went through, we just got closer. We stayed together, we kept fighting it, and we made it to Elite Eight. With three quarters of their scoring coming from seniors this year, Illinois is going to look very different come this fall. With the transfer portal already open for more than a week, Brad Underwood says the Illini have already been in there looking for next year's Illini team. Reporting for your Illini Nation in Boston, Andy Olson, WCIA 3 Sports. Andy, thanks. We've got a lot more on our WCI3 social media pages. We stream the post-game press conference there live. Watch on demand now on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Andy and I will also record our 3-in-1 podcast here in a few minutes. It'll be available wherever you download your podcast. So this is the end of the road. What a fun ride it has been this season. I know a lot of fans really enjoyed it, and we enjoyed covering it every step of the way. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Brett Behrens. Courtney, back to you.